All right, this is Kyle Kyle's Traction Trailers, folks, and good morning. Well, we survived the night, rained a little, ended up getting chilly, ended up lighting a fire, which I don't suggest you do, but this is the only thing I was wearing, and it's a lightweight t-shirt. And so, we survived that night with whatever I had in that bag. And there's going to be a few changes. There's quite a few things that I didn't like about it. That's why we get out here and we test our stuff. We find what we like, especially a bug out bag. Or get home bag. In this case, it's both of these. It's meant for bug out. It's meant for taking me home. But there's going to be some change in it. Anyways, what I want to do now is I want to go that way. I want to go that way. I'm going to go towards the tracks. We're going to see what we can see. Towards the tracks, I already know you're not going to see me. Back that way, because I was back there. And back this way. So, we'll go from there. I'll get back with you. All right, I passed the small creek. That time, right at it. And did all that rain, we actually got water, and it was bone dry. I'm sure the big creek's probably got something in it, if anything. I have to see. But yeah, I can't see me. So let's start walking up there and see how long it takes to see me, because I'm not that far away. I can see the log that crosses going home, but I don't see me. Be careful not to fall. This is actually take three of this. Take one off stuttering. And take two or things going fine by a tree branch that my phone turned off the video. I was headed for the tracks. I still don't see me. As we start to climb up, we should be able to see me. This is actually pretty high. This is higher ground up this down this way. There's higher ground up that way, but no flat spots. And I'm starting to see him past the table here. Let me get up here. As if someone's coming to climb up there. There I am. The oddball shape. And we'll get up there and I'll explain ways to probably deal with that. But I have understanding of some of the videos I've seen on self camping. There I ain't And I'll get back with you guys. All right, one of the things you could do is you're doing straight lines, and even in the woods, those can be seen sometimes, is to find vegetation, leaves, or whatnot, tree branches, and then they put them on there, near there, anything that block those straight lines, and put it on there all crooked. That way you get rid of the straight lines. Um, you see where there's a gap on the bottom. I could have dealt with that by putting these right there. It got chilly last time. I'm not going to say it was freezing and it got cold. It's, I got chilly because I didn't dress in layers. Um, another thing I ended up doing last night, because it did rain, is I really didn't fold or tie my hood. I just kind of folded over. I wasn't expecting to rain. I always prepared, folks. It's last night, once it started raining, I got out of here. I didn't get wet or nothing. But I ended up twisting it up and tying it and then tying it over. So, that's, if you're going to do this, go ahead and do that. Don't just fold it over like I did. And then you're like, oh, where'd the rain come from like I did? But anyways, now we're going to go that way and we'll see if we can see it from there. Alright, here we are. I'm actually pretty close by. You cannot see it. As we start to walk up here, which is what we're doing now. If you guys don't mind the walking, it does shake the phone a little bit. I'm actually holding my phone stand. As now we can start to see as we there's a spot where you kind of got a very step over this, or you come down here. I come down here, and you can't see it on the phone. Trust me, I can see it with my own eyes. As we start to you know I've seen oddball shapes. This actually, there we go. See that kind of triangular shape right there? That's my front of the brain poncho. I must said tarp. There we are. Alright. 
So from two ways you couldn't see me until we started walking up here. I don't worry about people up here. I'm more worried about the railroad tracks. And um, we're not gonna go down there because this take three and I've already been down there. You can't see that sucker. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go down there and show you guys you can't see it. And we'll avoid tree branch. I can't believe that happened. But from that direction, that direction, sorry, and that direction, you can't see me. I hardly ever see any people up here. I've never seen anybody up here. I've seen signs of people back that way. That was a hunter. He's where he spilled his deer guts at. That's where he put them. That was more towards the property that I live on. And to my girlfriend's property. Which was kind of concerning. But anyways, if I caught the guy, I wouldn't have said anything. Been, hey, this, I need to learn this stuff. So, anyways, mustaches. Long night. But anyways, I'll get back with you. We're going down to the road tracks. Alright. You can't see me. That's good. So higher ground above things actually isn't that bad of an idea. And I am on the road tracks. And this is where I have seen people. Anyway, it wasn't stealth then. People... Let me get this turned around. People have blinders on. I would use my other hand for holding my phone stand. And they don't really pay attention to what's around. I kind of depend on that too. Every now and then you'll get somebody that pays attention. So, that's basically it. Um, Highway 11 is... Is that way. Let me switch my phone around here. There's also a small creek down there. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't camped. I do know, I know their names, Mike and Anna have a house down this way. It's a horrible spike last week because it's just kind of at the end of the creek. And every time that creek does flood, and I've seen it flood, their house gets it. They probably buy it real cheap and decide to take their chances. The road that leads up to the driveway of where I live is this right there, where those white things are. Anyways, let me get off these railroad tracks. And of course, back this way south. There's a building back that way. I've been in it and explored it. There's also a railroad worker station. I'm not going to say a railroad station. It has their equipment near there. I've been down that way. It's past the building. Anyways, I'm going to get back up here. Actually, I'm going to put it into this video. This is take three. Alright, so we... I'm not going to do, see how long it takes to see me. I will tell you about halfway up, you'll start to see an odd shape, and that is my brain poncho. The reason I'm not walking back over this time to show you guys that is this take two, a tree branch hit my screen, hits the wrong button, that deal was going pretty good, and that was take two, so I want to do that again. Um, I do have a Facebook page called Cows Tracks and Trails. I'm going to go towards the big creek, so if there's any water, I will take pictures. And I'll take pictures of other things too. So if you guys want to see the pictures, go to Kyle Strax Trails Facebook page. But anyways, if you like what you see, of course, hit that like button. Subscribe, of course, please. Um, what else? Hit that all notifications bell. Comment, because I do enjoy the comments. We learn off each other. And share. We gotta share my videos. Get get those views. Anyways, it's Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails, and I'm out of here. Bye bye.